Good day Minecraftians, Purple Mentat here with a completely different kind of tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to add the Spice of Life mod for Minecraft to Agrarian Skies. Step one of course being to get to the appropriate place to download it. I prefer Squeak502's Curse Forge or Add.fly or Addfly, Addly, whatever, for to help support Squeak502 because he's an awesome guy and he makes awesome mods. So, going to download Spice of Life from here with the download button. It defaults to the 1.6.4 version. If you want to apply this to 1.7 mod pack, click on files and select the appropriate version. Now, next step now that you have the mod is to get your Feed the Beast launcher open as we're talking about Agrarian Skies specifically. And on third party packs, Agrarian Skies, click Edit Mod Pack, open your downloads folder where you should be able to find Spice of Life easily, or wherever else you happen to download things to. Chrome automatically goes to the downloads user folder unless you tell it to ask every time. In the Feed the Beast launcher, click Open Folder, and this will open the mods folder of your uh, Agrarian Skies instant inst instance installation. And then it's a simple matter of copying the file from here into the mods folder. Now, if I close the enabled mods and open up edit mod pack again, I can see that Spice of Life is in the mod pack. Next step, launch it. Once the game is finished launching fully, just quit straight back out of it. Now, with the mods folder that you hopefully left open, you're going to go up one level to the Minecraft folder and then into the config folder. You're going to scroll down to the spiceoflife.cfg and you're going to use your favorite nope, uh, text editor. Let me zoom in on this a bit for you guys. You're going to find main. If false, disables the entire diminishing returns part of the mod. Set this to false if you only want the client side tooltip slash HUD addition, uh, additions. Food modifier enabled false. With that set to false, you're all done. Now this does have some limitations. It will not show your hunger saturation when you are on a server if the server does not have Spice of Life included until you either lose some hunger or you take some health damage because that's when the update is sent from the server to the player. However, you it will allow you to see the saturation of food items in their tooltips, which is very useful information to have, especially with Pam's Harvest Craft installed because that adds a lot of food options. All right, folks, I hope that that was useful information for you. And now that I finally have this tutorial out, we're all set with that. Thanks a lot for joining me. See you next time.